All right, everybody, today I'm here to show you this Sherp Pro model that we have for sale. It has less than 10 hours. Uh, we've done some extra things to it. Uh, we had some things installed prior to coming to make it even more off-road capable, and we want to show it to you. We are running a big uh, sale on this. We're, it's 10% off the, the retail price through the end of 2020. Uh, if you're looking for a Sherp, you want to get a Sherp for your spouse, you want to get a Sherp for your farm or for work, this is a great opportunity to pick up a Sherp at a great price. So uh, let's go through it and talk a little bit about the standard features of the Sherp and then we'll take a look at some of the things that we had added to it. Um, you know, obviously the tire system on the Sherp is one of the most unique in that it inflates and deflates on the fly by redirecting the engine exhaust out to all four tires at one time. So we can run the tires between one PSI and three PSI by opening a valve to let the uh, air out of the tires and we turn that valve, hit a button and it redirects the exhaust back through the, uh, the tubing into all the tires at the same time. So even if you get a small hole in the tire, you can actually still keep the tire inflated by keeping that uh, engine exhaust running into the tires because it will equalize the pressure between all four tires at the same time. So that's pretty cool. The other thing is because it's using engine exhaust, there is no air compressor that can fail. And um, you know, if we've all used higher pressure air compressors before, and you know, they they overheat, they don't last. And can you imagine using an air compressor on a tire this size? Eventually, uh, that's going to wear out, or you're going to need a pretty darn big air compressor to uh, inflate tires this size, um, you know, quickly. Here, we added the auxiliary fuel storage uh, containers. So what you do is you transfer fluid out into, let's say, a soft bladder that you can store in the back. And then you can bring that around and put it into the uh, into the Sherp's main tank. Each of these carries about, you know, let's call it 15 gallons to, to make the math easy. So we've got 60 gallons there, another 15 to 17 in the tank. So we're running about 75 gallons of fuel on the Sherp at any one time, if that's the type of scenario that you're in. If you're in search and rescue, that's a great thing to be able to have because if you go into a disaster area, it's very hard to get diesel and when you're out and about um, you know if you're doing utility work for example if you've gone way out through a lot of heavy muck and brush and things like that and you need fuel then you have to drive all the way back through all of that just to get fuel to go back out and if you uh, carry your fuel in these uh, containers you know the Sherp can be out for multiple days at a time the Sherp will actually only burns between a half and three quarters of a gallon per hour so even the standard tank would give you an enormous amount of range, but when you throw in the storage of the fuel in the tires, it's that much greater. Uh, one of the things that we added to the Sherp, you'll notice, is the LED lights. And we actually had LED lights added to all four sides. And the reason for that is when you're out at night and you're working or you're doing search and rescue, you need light going out to the side. Or if you're just working here next to the Sherp, maybe doing some triage on a patient or you're trying to fix them, uh, another piece of equipment or something like that, having bright lights available to you is a great benefit. And uh, I'll show you the other lights as we go around. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and walk around a little bit and take a look. Another thing that we had added to this Sherp is a winch. And uh, what that entails is a, a piece that is custom created and uh, fits over the existing bumper. It bolts on with pins so it can be removed. And then it has a two inch receiver where uh, winch itself actually goes into the receiver. Now, why is that important? You can take it off. It is a waterproof winch, uh, and it runs, I think it's 8,300 pounds of pull, which doesn't seem like a lot, but the Sherp itself only weighs about 2,800 pounds, and you're not lifting the vehicle. Uh, what you're doing is tugging it just hard enough so the huge uh, treads on the tires, which if you look at that tread, that tread is you know, right now running about three inches deep, on brand new tires. So you don't need to uh, get it unstuck like you would a truck where the tires get you know, completely packed with mud. These, when you pull on a little bit, will get the traction that it needs and it'll actually uh, pull itself out. Uh, I've never been able to get a Sherp stuck. Other people tell me um, that they have. One person told me a story. They were working a utility line and they were in some really you know, black organic stuff. It was just the right consistency. The Sherp couldn't get enough traction. Two guys actually put a rope on it and leaned on it, and that was all it took for the Sherp to get traction to pull itself out. So this can be taken off the, uh, off the back and moved to the front. It is wired here, 
Um, so that, that cable is long enough to go from the front to the rear. Uh, we also have a port in the front where that can be connected. Uh, and that, that is actually where you get the power is the front uh, where the port is. And then we run the cable through the Sherp to the back to here or you can mount it and run it in the front. I like it in the back because when you're running over trees and bushes and stuff like that, there's no reason to beat your winch uh, needlessly. So let's take a look inside this shirt. This one's pretty awesome. And inside here, let's move in a little bit so you can see better. Inside here, uh, we have these boxes. Um, these won't be in here. Uh, we're going to take those out. I ordered them this time thinking that they would be good, uh, but they really they take up too much floor space. You have storage underneath here. You have a main storage compartment there in the middle, and then you have two doors on the outside for access to your chains and your mechanicals and uh, chain lube, things like that. Uh, this shirt comes with the, uh, the interior camouflage, which looks great. It is heavy duty. And the great part about it is you can put your gear up on the sides and it's not going to fall and bounce around in the back of the shirt, right? Uh, you can then lower that by unhooking the clips and people can sit up there if you want. Uh, people often sit right there. You know, you can sit uh, two or three people in that area. I've actually had up to 11 people in the shirt at any one time, which is great. You have more storage up above the, uh, the, the front compartment there. And uh, all of this comes out to access the, uh, the engine for maintenance or whatever you have there. So uh, let's move around. We're going to move to the front now and take a look. Oh, before we do that, let's take a look at this. So this is a 2020 shirt, by the way. Um, there are no models per se, because they don't change that much from year to year. They have found a really good um, you know, platform that works. They keep it as simple as possible uh, in the Pro, and then uh, just make minor adjustments. One of the minor adjustments that uh, came with this vehicle is this rear step ladder, which is great. It is heavy duty, and it makes getting in and out of the, the back much easier. Before, you had to either step on the tread and climb in, or you know, you got a boat ladder and, you know, kind of made your own step. But this one is built in and it's heavy duty and so far it has performed great. So, uh, you know, loving the back step. Uh, you can uh, undo this and drop this all the way, obviously, if you don't have a winch on there. Uh, when the Sherp is floating, it only f goes in about that deep, you know, about halfway of the tire. So you've got a ton of buoyancy. And if you're doing search and rescue, you can actually use this as a dive platform. You can lower this, flip this down into the water. Your divers can climb up, sit, and then pass gear to whoever's on the inside. So if you have a ice rescue or something like that, and you want to retrieve people out of the water, uh, having this step, you know, that low to the water is a great way to be able to get leverage to lift for people to climb out, things of that nature. So um, very applicable to uh, cold weather search and rescue as well as dive operations. Uh, you know, if you've got to dive in a swamp, then maybe you load your team in here. You drive the Sherp out to the flag pond in the Florida swamp Everglades somewhere, and then they dive off of this so you don't have to helicopter in, fly in your supplies at $10,000 an hour of flight time. Obviously, that becomes very, very expensive. You can see here on the back, we have a large LED light bar, which is great. Um, you know, when you're backing up at night, that obviously improves your visibility. And uh, we've got lots of room, so why not have a big light bar? You can never have too much light when you're operating at night. Let's move to the front. Okay, so here we are at the front of the shirt. Uh, it's a little dirty, so forgive me for that. Uh, we had it out, we were doing some test drives. And, uh, um, you know, just so you know, this, the Pro model has the Kubota engine. The Sherp N, which is uh, bigger and considerably more expensive, has a Dusan engine. Uh, the Sherp N is almost twice the weight of the Pro, but the motor is not twice the size. And Kubota is legendary for reliability, fuel economy, and low maintenance. So uh, if you're kind of going back and forth between the two and you don't need the N for a particular application, the Sherp Pro gives you a more reliable, uh, easier to maintain platform than Doosan. Because if you think about how many Kubota tractor dealers are there around, they're everywhere. Well, the tractor engine in here is the same tractor engine that you would have out at the farm. So you've got lots of maintenance options for parts and service 
and things like that through your local dealers that can work on the engines. Now they don't obviously don't know the rest of the Sherp, but if you need engine service, then getting it done from a Kubota dealer is a great option. All right, to, to enter the Sherp, you just simply pull on the window. And uh, just a, kind of a fun fact, when you are taking this into the water, you know, the nose will go down, let's say a drop or into a lake or something like that. Water will actually come up here on the windshield. So you dip and then you see this big wall of water come over, which is pretty exhilarating. But then what happens is the tires start to float and the shirt lifts back up and away you go. Uh, to open the Sherp, there's a string on the inside, the back side of the door. You simply pull on it. And you'll notice on this one as well, there is a uh, front step. This is also a, a, an addition to this model. This is great. It also helps getting in and out of the Sherp, especially if you're a little bit older and a little bit less flexible. Uh, if you are sore or you are loaded in gear, uh, or if you're getting in and out a lot, then having these steps really make a big difference uh, to that. Here is the... This is the receiver for the winch when you move it to the front. You can see here, right? This would go in here like this. And you would just bring the, uh, the winch around, set it on here, plug it into the built-in plug that we had added uh, underneath the seat, and you are all set. Nice part is you don't have to actually get out of the Sherp to do all that. So if you're in thick mud or it's nasty out and you don't want to get your shoes dirty, then you know you reach out the back, grab everything, pull it through, hook it up, and away you go. All right, let's look deeper in the cab. Almost forgot on the front. Again, another large LED light bar, which is great. These lights actually work really, really well. They are all LED lights. They are bright. There's low beam, high beam. You've got turn signals, and you have interior uh, operating lights which is great. You have running lights on the outside for visibility. If you're doing search and rescue at night, uh, or if you're out operating in remote areas, it's just good to have visibility. If people are looking for you, trying to find you for some particular reason, that's always uh, a good thing to have. So let's look on the inside. One of the things that you'll notice is uh, this is how you steer. It is not a skid steer per se in that you cannot spin the tires, uh, two tires backwards and two tires forward, but you do brake one side and the others keep rotating. So that's how you can do a zero turn, uh, which is great. In a tight spot, especially in soft material, you can spin this thing and basically do a donut. We've got another video where uh, in another vehicle we were out doing donuts. Uh, in the slick mud, which was pretty fun. And there are videos of people doing donuts on ice, obviously. Uh, you've got two seats. Um, this is a five-speed manual transmission. They changed the pattern on this from our older units, which is now, uh, you know, reverses all the way to the right and down, which is great. First is uh, upper left. So um, it's a little bit easier to manipulate. It's a little bit more uh, what you would expect from a manual vehicle. Um, the uh, controls, the rocker switches, which I'm going to disconnect you and, and show you that. Hang on one second. So there you have the rocker switches, which are nice. That's a nice improvement. Here is actually the valve for releasing the air from the tires. The fuse box is under here, windshield wiper fluid is here, as well as the plug for the winch. This is where there's a, a heater. There's a heater here that comes out and heats this area, and then there is a heater that heats the engine compartment in the back. Uh, the biggest addition to this, which has been great, is the installation of an AC unit. And those AC units are expensive. And they uh, having it pre-installed before you, you get it is uh, a huge plus. Trying to do that aftermarket is almost impossible. Uh, it can be done, but you're going to run into problems. Just getting it done and having it in the vehicle before delivery is a huge plus. Up top here, you'll see the backup camera. It's bigger. Uh, works a little better. Still not completely satisfied with the backup cameras. Some more storage, some more lights. You've got uh, the AC controls, and then you also have the opportunity to charge your electronics. Uh, same thing over here. 
more storage, more electronic control. And then up there is actually a hatch. So you can run with it open. You can stand on the seats and look out the top. And, uh, you know, if you had a, an emergency or something, it gives you a method of egress. Uh, the seats are actually leather, which is, <laughs> you would, really wouldn't expect that. But once you uh, start to realize, you know, hey, you're outside, you're hot, you're dirty, having leather seats uh, means that they are very durable. So um, it's a nice touch and they just look classy too. If you're interested in buying this Sherp Pro 2020 model with less than 10 hours on it currently, you know, give me a call. I'm going to put my phone number on the video. Give me a shout, leave a message and I'll call you back. Retail on this unit with the AC, the lights, and the winch is about 114000 So, um, you know, our sale price this year alone is going to be $100,000. Uh, you know, delivery and things like that uh, are not included, but it's, it's an awesome deal. It's a great way to get a new vehicle with uh, all these things already done for you so you can get delivery ASAP. So uh, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about it, answer questions. You know, we've got videos and other stuff that you can take a look at, but... You've seen the videos. You wouldn't be watching this if you didn't know what the Sherp was capable of. It's an awesome machine, and uh, if you're looking for one, this is a great one to get and a great way to save some money right out of the gate. So take care, and I hope to hear from you soon.